Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on finding the asymptotes of a rational expression. Before we begin by looking at our example problem, I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about the two types of asymptotes that we will be looking for in this video. The first is a vertical asymptote, which you can find by setting the denominator of the rational expression to be equal to zero and solving the resulting equation. The second is a horizontal asymptote, and this requires a little bit more thought to solve. First, you need to know the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator. Once you do, you'll compare the degrees and determine that one of the following cases holds true. If the degrees are equal, then you will simply divide the coefficients of the leading terms. If the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, then your horizontal asymptote is zero. If the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, then there is no horizontal asymptote. Now, let's look at our example problem, which is algebraically find any asymptotes in the graph of g of x equals 2x minus 6 all over x squared plus 5x plus 6. When approaching this problem, the general process that I would follow is to first find any vertical asymptotes by finding what values will make the denominator zero. Second, I would then determine the horizontal asymptote of this rational expression. For step one, we will find the vertical asymptotes of this rational expression. To do so, we will first set the denominator of the rational expression to be equal to zero. This will result in the equation x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals zero. Second, we will solve this equation. To do so, we will first factor it, which will result in the factored form of the binomial x plus 3 times the binomial x plus 2 equal to zero. Next, we will set each factored form to be equal to zero. Then, we will solve for x, which will tell us that x can be either negative 3 or negative 2. So, our vertical asymptotes are x such that x is either negative 3 or negative 2. For step 2, we need to determine the horizontal asymptote of this rational expression. To do so, we will first find the degrees of the numerator and denominator. So, first we will look at the leading terms of each. By doing so, we can see that the leading term of the numerator has a lower degree than that of the denominator. Thus, our horizontal asymptote is zero. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.